hello everyone it's clara here again i hope you're all doing well uh, this is where we are with this little envelope journal so the signatures are in and automatically your spine is looking like this now because of the signatures that you put in and the uh uh, what is it called? The uh, backing that I put on this fabric as well helps give it shape. And I also stitched on the butterfly. As you can see, I just went around uh, twice and just a little bit down this way as well. And that's the butterfly. And the back I just decided to leave plain. I'm not going to put anything there. And I think, oops, I think I'm going to cut these threads. Uh, anyway, so what I did inside was I used distress ink in here to distress the uh, the white paper so that it looks uh, not so stark white. And as you can see, I colored with felt tips these parts here so that uh, there isn't that white which is like this so it looks a little bit better and also if you don't have um, well we know distress inks are very expensive so if you don't have that you can use felt tips you can use other stuff or watercolors or something now the next thing is to make the panels for here and here to hide this and I decided that I'm going to make uh, pouches, I like making pouches over here. So what I do is uh, I measured this, it is 9 centimeters, so it's going to be covered like this and I want a lot of this more of this fabric to be shown so i didn't bring it right up today i'm just going to make it like this so you can see this fabric and what i do is what is this where is my score keyboard there we go so what i do is There you go. Um, I think we have, see, we have once the idea of this is for somebody to put their stuff in here. Inspirational quotes or something like that. So it's going to get quite thick in the end. And also, it can be, you can continue decorating and embellishing the envelopes themselves. So I'm gonna you can see this space in here so I'm going to that what should I say that decides whether I'm gonna make the um, pouch to have a gusset or not and I what is this measurement now I forgot it should be oh nine centimeters okay so I'm going to score it at nine centimeters here and I'm gonna of course make this shorter because it has to flap over and uh, what I mean is I don't know whether I want to do this so that it is like that like that and whether it's gonna be like this here I think I have the space for that See, there's so much room to grow. Okay, so I will put that in. So this is nine centimeters. This is the top. Let me do another one because it's for both sides. No, let's do one. Let's do one. So this is the nine centimeters. Maybe the is for the flap can be five centimeters. Mm, let's see like so yes and, and then so let's have to scroll this
Um, I want to put fabric here because it's going to be folded, uh, folded and open and close down to make sure it doesn't tear. So this is the fabric I'm using. Um, I just need a thin piece. Not that. Okay, so Right. This is what we have now here. And of course we have to put something on top here. And I think I just want to make it purple. Yes, so this was five centimeters. Mm -hmm. So I didn't. Uh, prepare fully and I don't have an idea what I want to make exactly but uh, yeah this I uh, was just going with the I think I want the pink to show a little bit so to make it 4.5 centimeters So I will be back. I'm going to sew around here with purple thread and I'll be back. So I decided to do like a little decorative stitch. And there we have it. So this is glue uh, well, <laughs> stitched on. Now we have to make the, um, the pocket pouch. So I, I'm going to use pink because we already have purple here. And so what I do is it's nine centimeters. 
so I'm gonna make it eight. It's gonna it has to first of all has to be nine. No wait, what? Uh nine and nine. You know what I should make it an accordion? Do I have enough space? I think I do. Make it an accordion. So that's let's see if we can. This is how I check. There's no need to crack it. Oh my gosh, Clara. Sorry, everyone. Please. Um, where's my... Where is this? So normally I measure 1.5. No, I don't have enough. So it has to just be... Hmm. A simple one. I normally do uh, 1.5 centimeters for the score line and then this should be nine centimeters so two and a half right here and then I've just made right now do I want to stitch yes I think so so it makes sense I'll be right back and so this is what we have now we need the things to tie the thread around which just use this uh what is this oh, i don't really know i don't even know how many what's the measurement of this actually i don't know if it's a centimeter the radius anyway we need the uh, i'll use these these were some extra Yeah, so we're gonna put um we'll be able to get two out of this one. Yep. And then we need some hard mm, let's see, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh oh. I'll be back. Okay. So this is uh 300 gram paper and I these days I put three make it really strong the little what would you call this button for the closure oh come on Oops. 
that's one. So nobody will ever see this. that okay then let's not forget to punch the hole before we glue it on Is the middle and it looks about right. Oh. Oops, this always gets stuck. I have to do an extra hole because the eyelids are a little bit bigger than normal. And where are they? They are here. So, put it here. And I'm choosing gold because of the gold foil on the uh, paper. Right, so we can do this one. Ready now. I'm going to stick. We do have to cut this off. This is from the sewing the butterfly on the other side. We don't want to remove everything though, just the ones on the inside. I'm going to glue this on here and I will be back. 
Okay, so this is on. Load it on. And I'm going to put the pocket down. Here. I was thinking the other day that I should just one day press the live button here on YouTube and just um, while I'm making a journal just make it without it's not as a tutorial or a whatever I just uh, see how I put my journals together because I've had a lot of uh, inquires about how I put the lab book journals together and I just have no idea because as I said I don't work with a fixed uh, idea of the mat like I just when I put something together I just say oh I have that piece of fabric there that I that will look nice in and I go get it or I say no this doesn't look good and I and I change it so my gosh a tutorial for the Big journals would be an absolute and utter mess. I don't even know how many. Yeah, and I just. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Even right now, I'm not talking so much. I find it so awkward. So, so awkward to. To put the camera on and then talk. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I, I can talk. I talk a lot. In uh, real life, but this is uh, just very difficult. So we've done that. Now we have to have the string, right? See, it's looking cute already. It's looking nearly complete. Um, yeah, I'll be back. All right. I don't know what uh, I want to put. Pink. Let me see. You have to test first what looks good I don't know see this is what I'm talking about this is what I do I test I look I see does this work does this look good as I go along I think I'll put this one so it should be like this and like this and then down, yep. Mm -hmm. Scissors. Tie it. Do this and this and uh, this. Oh my goodness. This is the first. <laughs> All right. Oh, thumbs. There we go. Okay. It's a little bit long. Mm -hmm. yeah, why not okay let it hang like that and then as I said I'm gonna cut these mm, not all the same length I might end up also coloring these see I colored the other one I think I have to do that with those ones too see ideas come as you work I really, really admire the people who 
have put together tutorials, actual tutorials that have helped me with my crafting. And I thank them so much from the bottom of my... What a waste of this. Change my mind about it. Okay. Oh, wait. Now, what we have to do next is this one here. And then uh, I'll do that off camera, though. I'll be back. Okay, we're making the second one. And we are going to, let's see what's in us. It's pink. So let us use purple. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what, what, what? It should be nine. Twelve. So twelve. What do I want to say more? Okay, then let's not forget this. Oh. This one I just did a straight stitch. And then before I forget, I have to stitch around here. chose pink for the closure thingy jigs and that Oh, come on now. I would like to say that the journal community the creative you know the people who paint people who make journals it's the best community on the on youtube because people are so nice people are so nice and i really appreciate that it makes me very happy there's no 
toxic environment in this community and here on YouTube. It's lovely and I'm so happy to be proud of it. And I'm so amazed that 5,000 people have chosen to follow me. <laughs> Little old me there. Yes. So now uh, the maybe I'm going to go uh, with this this pink. Let me see. Yes. All the glue and stuff on my fingers, people. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Behave, behave. say these look like the uh, antennas of the butterfly <laughs> let me make it shorter just no no leave it leave it leave it and so i've left all the threads and stuff you should see the other journal i'm making huh full of threads so this is oh i closed this one too tight it's supposed to be up like this Right, same with this one. There we go. And I also thought, basically this, oh, I unfortunately restarted this video i think this was this is the third attempt because i found that i was actually speaking total rubbish in another one so i don't know if i showed you that i had colored these this white stuff uh, with felty but i don't know if i did that did i i don't know so this is what I did actually so not I didn't use uh, I didn't use uh, what is this thing called distress ink I just use felt tip that stuff can be expensive plus it's fun to do this really fun really <laughs> fun and relaxing And I am going to also color the this uh, thread. Oops. And get in here as well.
So I'm just finishing off these to color these uh, white spaces in the journal. And I'm also going to color the thread, but not now. It's a bit of a Um, I don't know, fidgety thing. <laughs> I did it here. Where is it? Here. Mm -mm, so I'm going to do it for the rest as well, but not now. This is actually fun. Okay. One. Which one? I think this one. Also going to round off and I decided that all will be top top loading so and all of them are gonna be rounded so that I'm square So all the envelopes I have rounded the corners and I want to put one, two, four clips. I wonder if I should do small. It's a small journal. Yes, small clips. One, two. Where are you? And then I have these, the, uh, this tool, four pieces, and I am going to do, I don't remember how to do this, do I, um, <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. So put it through. Where's the middle? one I don't know if you can see this is pink so purple purple pink pink <coughs> excuse me I did I should uh, wash this glue off my hands but do that later
the second one. For the individual parts. And then I'll do this one. All right, so these are done. This came out really fabulous. I'm surprised myself. Reminds me of a peacock. So these I want to put here. Mm -hmm. Maybe here. Definitely here. And maybe put I wonder if they'd do better shorter. Yes, they would. What a shame to cut this one off though. Or maybe wait less. Less is more. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm not sure about this. Let's see what happens if I cut it short. Yeah, I think so. I have so much of this stuff, I can do this. I don't. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see when I take photos what they look like. <laughs> but basically, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. We're done. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you so much for everyone who subscribed, everyone who watches, and all your lovely comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until the next time.